ആയി ഒരു ഡിലേയും ഇല്ലാതെ സീസൺ ടുമായി ഞാൻ വീണ്ടും എത്തുകയാണ് സൺഡേസിൽ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഇൻസ്റ്റഗ്രാമിലും ഫേസ്ബുക്കിലും ഒരു ചെറിയ ചേഞ്ചോട് കൂടി വേറെ ഒന്നുമല്ല ഇനി മുതൽ എന്റെ സീസൺസ് എല്ലാം ഒരു പ്രീ റെക്കോർഡഡ് വീഡിയോ ആയിരിക്കും വരുന്നത് കാരണം ആദ്യത്തെ ഒരു പ്രോഗ്രാം നടത്തി വന്നപ്പോൾ എനിക്ക് മനസ്സിലായി ഒരുപാട് പേർക്ക് എന്റെ ഗസ്റ്റുകളെ കുറിച്ച് കുറച്ച് ഏറെ അറിയാൻ പറ്റുന്നില്ല കുറെ ലാഗ് വരുന്നു ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് കണക്ടിവിറ്റി ഇഷ്യൂസ് അപ്പൊ അതെല്ലാം മാനിച്ച് ഞാൻ ഈ പ്രാവശ്യം മുതൽ സീസൺ ടു പ്രീ റെക്കോർഡഡ് ആയിട്ടായിരിക്കും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മുന്നിൽ അവതരിപ്പിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് പക്ഷെ എന്നിരുന്നാലും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളുടെ അടുത്തേക്ക് തന്നെ ലൈവിൽ വരും ഇതിന്റെ എല്ലാം ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക്സ് കാണാനും കേൾക്കാനും നിങ്ങളുമായി കൂടുതൽ കാര്യങ്ങൾ പങ്കുവയ്ക്കാനും നിങ്ങളിൽ നിന്ന് കൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ എനിക്ക് തന്നിരിക്കുന്ന ആ ഒരു എന്താ പറയാ സപ്പോർട്ടും സ്നേഹവും കൊണ്ടിട്ടാണ് സീസൺ ടു ഞാൻ തുടങ്ങിയത് സീസൺ ടുവിന്റെ ടോപ്പിക്ക് പോലും നിങ്ങളാണ് എനിക്ക് പറഞ്ഞു തന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ വുമൻ എംപവർമെന്റ് നിങ്ങളുടെ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ആയിരുന്നു നിങ്ങൾക്കായി ഞാൻ താത്തു കൊണ്ടിരുന്നു സീസൺ ടു വുമൻ എംപവർമെന്റ് വുമൻ ടോക്സ് ഓൺ ഡിമാൻഡ് വിത്ത് മെറിൻ മാത്യൂസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് ടൈം എന്റെ ഗസ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ചില്ലറക്കാരി അല്ല കേട്ടോ അപ്പറ പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാം കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടോ എന്ന് എനിക്കറിയാം കാര്യം എന്താന്ന് അറിയോ ഒരു പക്ഷെ ഒരു ഡാൻസർ എന്നോ ഒരു മോഡൽ എന്നോ പറയുന്നതിനും അപ്പുറം ഷീ ഇസ് വെരി വെൽ നോൺ ഫോർ ഹർ ബ്ലോഗിങ് നിങ്ങളുടെ ഒക്കെ ഇൻസ്റ്റഗ്രാം അക്കൗണ്ടിലൊക്കെ പുള്ളിക്കാരെ തീറ്റ് ആഡ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടാവും സോ ലെറ്റ് ബി വെൽക്കം മൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് കേസ് ടു മൈ സെക്കൻഡ് സീസൺ അപർണ പോൾ വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ഷോ അപർണ ഹലോ എവ്രി വൺ നമസ്കാരം A woman is an epitome of love, sacrifice and devotion. Since childhood, she has to overcome lot many trials and sufferings. So in order to be successful, there are a couple of traits which I feel is very much important for a woman to possess. According to me, the first thing that is very much important is being strong. Life isn't a bed of roses, right? So uh, in order to overcome the hurdles of life a woman has to stand strong This is the first thing which I personally feel Secondly I feel that a woman has to develop a positive attitude towards life You won't face the same uh, thing again and again there will be ups and downs So remaining positive in each and every situation is very much important too Thirdly I feel that a woman should stay focused on her goals. Uh there are two parts of life for a woman. Like one when she is a spinster, she stays with her uh you know mother and father and her siblings and the other one when she gets married. So there are two different spheres of life which a woman passes through. In that case I feel it is very much important to stay focused and balance her life because uh if it, if she is a working woman then uh there has to be a very perfect balance between her work life and her personal life if the balance isn't there then there will be a lot of chaos and this might you know uh, leave her depressed and feel sad and unhappy and dissatisfied So to overcome all these uh, things I feel that a woman must possess these uh, you know uh, qualities that is stay strong and focused have a positive attitude and balance her life These are the few things which I would uh, you know personally feel uh, is important Uh, different state has different cultures different traditions now coming from the state of assam when i landed in pune uh, it was a new experience for me because uh, you know i did not knew marathi and the people were uh, like the culture was different and i uh, you know started adjusting myself now post masters again i um, joined the corporate so uh, there it was again a new experience because in childhood we aren't exposed to many things which we get to know once we uh, you know grow up and uh, we start working so the main thing which i feel is you know keeping ourselves intact to our values is very much important uh, when we go to a new place and meet new people because if we lose our balance it's uh, it's it may affect us it may uh, harm us so we should always be conscious about that 
then again you know post marriage i relocated, relocated to kolkata and kolkata is a lovely city i must say here uh, the tradition is completely different here we uh, we are uh, more of a culture uh, cultural heritage uh, literature a lot many new things so here again i had to uh, start from the scratch when i relocated because uh, in pune i had a completely different life uh, it was like a job it was like friends it was hanging out going for shopping and you know and joint parties but uh, after marriage uh, the scenario is completely different because here we need to take care of the family we become more responsible and uh, we have uh, you know our own duties we need to concentrate on our duties and at the same uh, time we also have to concentrate upon our work and uh, you know um, keeping our own desires our own passion uh, you know in place is also another important thing so it was very much um, you know troublesome when i first landed after marriage in kolkata because i had to uh, start my career from the scratch i uh, jo- i joined the hr domain and uh, working in the hr domain was completely a different experience in itself because i learned so many new things like connecting with people and uh, you know uh, understanding their psychology and uh, interacting with them and uh, most importantly when i used to take interviews i had to understand what is the pain point of the candidate so it's a completely different thing a completely uh, you know new experience and moreover i would say that i used to love my work so that is what kept me going now again uh, if i talk about my uh, you know dance then i would say uh, that after having having a baby uh, for a woman it's very difficult to come back to the previous life because you have many physical changes you have mental emotional changes you have lot many responsibilities your responsibilities increases so then uh, there was a setback when i had to take a sabbatical break and i was completely blank and thinking like what should i do now then i thought let's not uh, you know keep myself back and instead i should think of something which may uh, you know which can keep me going so i again started i joined the dance center where i am a tutor i have been teaching since long i have so many little kids uh, who uh, you know who i love uh, they are just close to my heart then again blogging uh, when i was in my sabbaticals i used to you know have different kind of mood swings uh, one one fine day i thought like uh, let me pen down my emotions because that's the best thing i can do uh, uh, because uh, i did not have any job at that point of time and i could do nothing only look after my baby and family so i was getting mad so then i started uh, you know writing blogs and uh, on different topics i started with parenting then gradually i uh, you know uh, took this professionally i became a professional blogger so my life again took a twist and <laughs> Uh, blogging became a part of my life so i uh, again started dancing after a while so dancing blogging uh, went uh, hand in hand and uh, after uh, like when my uh, kid was around 2 years to 3 years i uh, joined back the corporate so i was trying to maintain a balance between my work my passion and my family that is very much important for every woman because if you if you do not uh, you know pursue your dreams uh, keeping a balance with your work it's very difficult uh, for each one of you uh, you know to get satisfied because ultimately whatever you do if you are not satisfied uh, yourself it's not going to pay so uh, apart from that like when i entered into the world of modeling so i had been a sari model since uh, uh, since a couple of uh, years that is something which is again you know a kind of uh, interest i had and i got this opportunity so i always try to engage myself in lot many things and i enjoy doing it so that is something very much important enjoying the thing that you do so i've been uh, like i also said earlier if you want to pursue your dreams you need to understand who you are and what you want to be 
So I can't say that uh, I want to be a blogger, I want to be a dancer. I just want to say that I want to be the person I feel is, uh, you know, can give me happiness. I want, I want to be such a person who can influence others, who can influence other women and, you know, make them stand strong. There are many women in our country who, uh, you know, maybe before marriage, they uh, were doing very um, good in their um, respective fields. But somehow they quit and uh, they, you know, spend their lives, you know, regretting. So why to regret? Why? I mean, uh, life doesn't come, comes again. Like, life is one. So we have to utilize it in the fullest manner. Go whatever, like, do whatever your heart says, your mind says, and, uh, you know, just be there. Because that is what can satisfy your heart. And that is what will make you successful. Isn't it? So that is what I feel uh, and my uh, life has been through much ups and downs. So I feel that I can set an example for others, uh, for those women who feel they can't do anything. I say, no, you can. Have the can-do attitude and you will reach wherever you want. very honest uh, I don't think that my life is confined to one particular thing since childhood dance is something which has occupied my entire life I've been dancing since childhood and I feel that dance is the way of expressing myself I just feel out of this world when I dance it makes me so happy I express my thoughts my feelings uh, through my uh, you know dance, my mudras, my other moves, when I feel happy, I dance, when I feel sad, I dance, and again, you know, when I feel very furious, I dance, so it's like dance uh, is something very much close to my heart. Now, if I talk about blogging, uh, blogging is uh, related to my mind. Whatever I think, I just pen down. It flows through my emotions. So, uh, it is also uh, very much you know close to my heart so I cannot differentiate either blogging or dancing uh, talking about my profession uh, I've been an HR professional so this is something which connects me to people I love interacting with different kinds of people coming from different backgrounds uh, being an extrovert in nature and uh, optimistic I uh, personally feel that uh, uh, you know connecting with uh, people is something which uh, gives your heart a satisfaction and it makes uh, uh, you know makes me feel very happy i uh, i feel very uh, uh, you know interesting to uh, you know hear different stories from people and connecting with those people uh, from different states from different uh, you know countries uh, there are, they have different kind of culture they have different traditional uh, stuffs and uh, it's it's really it's kind of a bonding that develops when you uh, connect with different people so uh, that is what i feel that uh, everything is connected uh, with me very deep now coming to modeling uh, i would say that it's pretty new though the uh, reason behind the story of me getting into this world is I was a selfie maniac. I love clicking selfies. I, my husband used to tell me that uh, you are getting a disease. It's a selfie disease. <laughs> and I used to laugh like anything. So one fine day, um, I got an opportunity. I thought of trying myself. Let's give it a try. So it clicked. And that's how I came into this industry. So uh, this, though it is very new, but uh, this uh, modeling is also something which I feel is uh, special for me and it's very close to my heart. So I cannot really confine myself to one particular thing. Each and every uh, you know, aspect has uh, different roles to play in our life. So uh, that is what goes uh, in my life also. Well, uh, 
being an artist i feel that we always influence the mindset of the people so uh, we always have to think about it if we are creating the right mind right uh, influence or not there are so many social uh, stuff that needs to be considered so if being an artist i can convey the right message to the people at the right time i would feel that my uh, work is accomplished because our main idea or main motto is educating the people about the different injustice inequalities going around uh, our uh, country in and around the world if you can help them you know uh, if you can open their uh, minds and uh, if you can convince them if you can influence them and uh, uh, make them you know act in the right manner so that is a very big uh, achievement in itself so that's what i feel that we are socially responsible and we should uh, always cast a proper and a, and the right uh, you know influence in the mindset of the people for those people who wants their life to be successful i would like to suggest that uh, stay focused and do what your heart says because if you are not enjoying what you're doing it will not result for you so it's always important to enjoy the work that you're doing and be satisfied in order to be satisfied you need to stay focused on your goals and think positively do not be afraid of failures because life will bring ups and downs always you know uh, stay positive and develop a healthy mentality with uh, you know uh, by overcoming your fears uh, don't think that you cannot always think positive feel that you can do it bring that can do attitude right and apart from that i would say that to balance your life uh, properly because uh, you know if your life is not balanced then things will not be in place so it's very important for a person to uh, you know prioritize their work and set a goal for themselves because if you are if you do not have any set goals uh, you do not know where you are heading towards right so you must be very clear on your goals and stay focused and always try to you know bring your creativity uh, outside because everybody has potential Every, every each one of us has different potentials. So we just need to find what it is, and we need to polish our skills and develop ourselves. Because each and every day is a learning day. It's a learning curve. So uh, we can learn lot many new things. Uh, so it's very important that uh, we understand ourselves, who we are, and what we want to be. Then only we can be clear on our goals, and we can you know make our lives. of success.